this is uh, another Grandfather Connect that came into my hands. Uh, this one didn't have any power pl uh, when you plugged it in. So I'm checking the power leads here. Don't see anything really obvious. So checking the uh, cables on top, they all look good with this black lead. Maybe looks like it might not be on there really, really tight. So just for a good practice, I decided to trace it. I was getting a good connection, but it looked like maybe the wire was loose. After that, I looked at top of the uh, device. I mark all the cables with a pen so I can put them back. Okay, I'm looking again, making sure that the uh, power is getting to the board. And I turn it over, I notice there was a mounting bracket that had broken. So I took it, the other piece apart and separated the, all the wires and cables from the PCB, but it, I didn't get to record it, but that's okay. <laughs> Just take them apart. And I got back in, I decided to put the cable back in on the black, that little black cable in. And I also made sure the PCB cable, which is that data cable, was very secure on the bottom part. And now I'm going to reconnect it back to the top of the data cable. Guess what happens? I turn it on and it comes back on. Um, it had uh, defaulted back to Celsius, even though this was a US unit. I think uh, by disconnecting all these cables, it probably reset. I'm almost positive that there was the data cable, but it could have been that black lead. I don't know. Um, I guess I should have paid a little more attention, but I was gonna, uh, just kind of shooting in the dark there. But it works. Came back on. And there's a little piece in the owner's manual that tells you how to reset this back to Fahrenheit. Pretty easy. Uh, and then I um, tested again on the multimeter. All the connections work. Everything's back to normal. So another uh, Grandfather Connect back on the line.